For almost 50 years, costume fandom has had a consistent and widespread following with costumers markedly influencing science fiction writers, artists, and the media. The first Worldcom in 1939, the last year's Worldcon in Philadelphia, costume fandom has emerged as a robust and dynamic force with science fiction fandom. The first World Science Fiction Convention in New York in 1999, a 22-year-old Forrest J. Anchorman and his friend Maturo R. Jones appeared in the first SF costumes among the 185 attendees. During the next year's con, dozens of fans turned out in their own science fiction apparel. Now over a half a century later, costume fandom has come to represent a large segment of the hardcore genre audience. For many years, fan costuming was combined to science fiction and fantasy conventions, mostly in North America. Then Nav Takashi from Studio Heart coined the term cosplay as a contraction of the English language words costume play. The idea took hold in the minds of the Japanese readers and they, in turn, adapted the idea by dressing as their favorite anime characters. In short years, fans began to dress up by conventions, and then in the mid-1919s, as anime, manga, and all things related started to catch on in America, cosplay was reintroduced, this time on a much larger scale. This has led many North American cosplayers to be being totally unaware of their hobby's history, believing it was invented in Japan. What was your first cosplay experience like? It was like five years ago, and I went to Toricon, and it was pretty fun. Technically, this would be my first cosplay. I'm cosplaying as Hiccup. Pretty interesting. It was a long time process of waiting for stuff to come in because at first I didn't build it. So. Do you buy or make your own cosplay? Um, before I would buy, but now I just try to make it because I like to express my creativity because I have a passion for art and I just like to put my passion into my work. I bought my cosplay. I went to a number of thrift stores to purchase the components. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, this year I made it um, out of sheer willpower and money that I somehow had. So what drew you to cosplay? I always liked cartoons and anime, so I thought one day, oh, maybe I could be that character and have fun. Um, mostly my friends. I was introduced to cosplay way back at my first college. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think it's cool. Uh, what I would do is I just want to be someone different. Like, you know, everyone wants to go as a costume probably and that kind of thing. What do you consider when choosing who you want to cosplay? Well, I like being characters that are easy to put together. Nothing too difficult. So I can save money and make better time management. I mostly stick with characters that look as close to me as possible. Uh, I, I consider them if they're slightly off color, such as myself, and I try really hard to look like them. What are your thoughts on convention cosplaying versus public cosplay? But conventions are more helpful when it comes to showing people and expressing yourself who you are. I really have no opinion. Anybody can dress up as what they want to be, really. I think public cosplaying is a little, um, it can be a little obsessive sometimes and people get a little too carried away with it. I don't find it as a bad thing, but um, it kind of gives other cosplayers like a really interesting look on how people see us, I guess, because they uh, take it the wrong way when like normal people will see, normal people will see us, I guess. <laughs>